You have all probably seen this ammo table. Use Battle Buddy to calculate penetration chance. Maybe you know some rough rules about how much damage a bullet will do if it does penetrate the armor. What about how many shots it will take someone to kill someone with a specific armor and ammo combination? If we knew that, then we could come up with some great scientific comparisons of armors based off statistics instead of hand-generated values. Like, what's this guy got here for armor? An M1? Hey man, what you got on for armor? Is that an M1 rig? Uh, your mom's an M1 rig. Come on, it is, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, PST GZH versus an M1 rig, 15 shots. All right, I'm gonna shoot you 15 times and you should die. Fifteen shots. Hello everyone, this is CZTL, and in this video we're going to be ranking class 4 armor based off how it performs against ammo that you can buy from level 3 traders. I have compiled a list of expected shots to kill for all tier 4 armors, and any ammo with above 30 pen that you can buy from level 3 traders, or the top penning ammo for a specific caliber. The list of ammo is right here, and for each armor we'll be computing the average shots to kill across all the average shots to kill for each ammo. When dealing with averages and chances, you may experience different results on a case-by-case -case basis, but statistically, these should be correct. Assuming all the bullets hit the thorax, shout out to Gigabeef and Xerxes for the work that they've done on armor and damage. You may have noticed I may have left some ammo off, such as 545 BS, due to the expense of barter, even though it is available from proper level 3. But it would have no impact on the results, because it's 3 shots for every single armor in this case. Factored into the scores that I will show you, is the average number of shots to kill, the cost, and the weight. In reality, there's a lot more to compare, such as the debuffs for armor, armor rig configuration, etc. But I want to keep it simple. For reference, the average shot to kill for all these armors is 5.68 across all the ammos listed above. The average cost of the armor is 96,500 rubles, and the average weight is 8.63 kilograms. Now, I know that you're used to comparing rubles, but the average number of shots to kill can be tricky. Put it this way, the minimum is 4.48 shots and the maximum is 6.78 shots. These averages are across 27 different ammo types, so even a difference of 0.1 can be extremely significant. So in last place we have an armor costing just 56,000 rubles, and it's called the Thor. We're going to put that in F tier. It has the lowest number of shots to kill on average at 4.48 across all the ammos. 40% of the ammos listed above should kill the player in 3 or less shots. It's really only effective early game, but it's not available until Ragman 3, so maybe this armor needs to get bumped up to Ragman level 2 to make it viable. Right now, it's going to sit at an F. Next up, we have the 6B3TM or the Rat Rig, which costs 76,000 rubles or 54,000 rubles currently with a barter. It is a close second worst at stopping 4.56 shots on average. The price hike recently made it in line with all the other class 4 ceramic armors, but it stops less shots on average from the ammos we have chosen, giving it this poor score. The average weight across all the armors is 8.6 kilograms, and this is above that at 9.2 kilograms. So we're rating this an F. Now we're finally done with the F tier, so let's move on to the E tier. Surprisingly, the next one up is the Anna M1 Tactical Rig, and this was a shock to me. This is available from Ragman 3, but the barter brings it up to a staggering 125,000 rubles. The average shots stopped by all armors is 5.68, and this is slightly above that at 5.78, but the high cost brings down this rank. You could easily buy two other armors and maybe two and a half armors for the cost of this one. The one saving grace about this armor is it does only weigh 8.3 kilograms versus the 8.6 average. Number 4 is the 6B5-15, very heavy rig that you always find on scavs. This rig only costs 48,000 rubles to a barter and it stops 5.04 shots on average. Better than the first two armors, but still less than average. It also has the highest weight at 12.2 kilograms, so this is going to drag you down. All in all, this gets an E. Numbers 5 and 6 also in the E category are the 6B13 ceramic armors. You can find these on the fleet right now for just 59,000 rubles. They stop a bit more shots than the other ceramic armors, but just barely at 5.19. The 
also weigh a lot at 10.5 kilograms. A decent budget choice, but they aren't likely worth their value, giving them an E. Next up, we have a decent armor, stopping 6.19 shots on average from the ammos that we've chosen in the comparison on average. Higher than the 5.68, this armor is the Osprey, and it goes in the D category. This is tied for the most expensive armor, and has a higher than average weight. If you find this in Raid, it is the third best class 4 armor in terms of time to kill, but the cost make it not worth it. Another downside of this armor is the arm protection. A hit to the arm does the same amount of damage to the armor as a hit to the thorax, but you can take a bunch of bullets to the arm without actually killing you, whereas the thorax you can only take a handful, so that's usually classified as a negative. This winds up as a D. Next up, around mid pack, we have the Eclipse RBAVAF plate carrier. This stops more shots on average at 5.96 and it has a very low weight at 7.5 kilograms, but the price is extremely high at 142,000 rubles worth of butter items. If you can find this in raid, it is a pretty good armor, but it's not worth that high price tag. To close out the D grade, we're going to have to go with the next armor, the AVS Chest Rig. It stops 6.19 bullets on average, which is better than a lot of the other armors, but it is also a very expensive barter. It has a nice configuration, and it is a round average weight, so take it if you see it, but don't buy it at 163,000 rubles worth of items. Next up, starting out the C grade, we have a very overlooked armor, and it looks like a class 3 armor, but it's actually class 4. It's the 6B232 armor. This armor is definitely worth the price on average, even though it's ceramic. It's the best value that you can find not on the flea for rubles. It stops a bit below average at 5.48 bullets, but it's only 7.2 kilograms and only costs 76,000 rubles. Great to purchase from Ragman and throw in real quick for a budget run. Next up is the Strandhog Plate Carrier. At only 59,000 rubles, this armor is dirt cheap, although the price may fluctuate. It stops a bit less than the previous armors on average at 5.33 bullets, but you can get the barter items for only 59,000 rubles. Not only that, it's incredibly light at only 6.5 kilograms, which is 2.1 kilograms under the average. Next up, and starting out the B grade, we have a chronically underrated armor, the TV-110. This is a pretty good armor at stopping bullets on average at 5.93. Not only that, it's only 74,000 rubles. It has a great configuration for looting and playing, but that can also be detrimental if you get killed. You're less likely to get it back. The downside here is the weight at 10.3 kilograms. If you don't care about weight, this is the second best class 4 for the price. Next up, we have the cousin of the M1 rig, and that's the M2 rig. You may be wondering, why is there such a big difference between the two? And it's the armor material. Because of the difference in materials from the M1, it also stops 0.3 more bullets on average, which may not seem like a lot, but it is a tremendous amount given that we have 27 bullets that we use in these calculations. This armor is great at stopping bullets at 6.04 shots on average. It has a decent price at 96,000 rubles and a weight of only 7. You really can't go wrong with this armor. This, in my opinion, is one of the most underrated armors. Next up, another one to my surprise, is the MMAC. With only 40 durability points, you would think it would stop less bullets than average, but it actually stops a bit more than average at 5.78. It's also pretty cheap at 72,000 rubles, and it only weighs 7.2 kilograms. The only problem with this rake is the fact that it's 3x3 and it's likely going to be taken, and it doesn't stop as many shots as the next ones we'll talk about. Next up is the A18 Scanda Plate Carrier. This is going to start out grade A. Even though it costs a fortune, it stops the most bullets on average out of all the armors that we looked at, at 6.78. Even the trooper doesn't stop as many shots, but only in rare cases where blunt damage is an issue. You cannot buy this on the flea, so you're stuck paying that huge price tag of roughly 180,000 rubles for this. It also has a lower than average weight, but in my opinion, this costs way too much. They should at least remove one of the Jack Daniels that you need for this barter. But if money's not an issue, it's a great armor. 
In second place, we have a newer armor that many of you may not know about, costing 80,000 rubles on average. We have the Banshee. It has above average stopping power at 5.89 bullets on average. And the great part about this armor is the weight at only 6.9 kilograms. It also has a configuration for some three slot mags in case you wanted to use some high cheap capacity mags. Overall, at below average price, below average weight, and above average stopping power, this is a solid value. And in first place, in every iteration of my model, we have the Trooper. It stops 6.7 bullets on average, the second most out of all the armors. It isn't too expensive at 117,000 on the flea, and it weighs only 6.8 kilograms. It has to be respected as the best class 4 armor until more people use it, or until some of the other class 4 armors come down in price. What do you think of this tier list, and do you think anything should be done to balance these armors? Let me know down below in the comments. If you're curious about the ammo ranking, that's coming up next. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like out of that shit button, subscribe to be the first notified of my future videos, and CZTL out.